sisters, James Charles here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. <laughs> So this past weekend here in Los Angeles was the annual Pride Parade. I am so honored and proud to be part of the LGBTQ community. It is such an amazing place to be, but unfortunately I did not get to actually go to the parade. As you guys know, I did just move to Los Angeles and I was so looking forward to going to the first ever Pride event. I've never actually been to one before, so I was so pumped to wear like some glam makeup and meet a ton of you guys, but I had something a little bit more important to do that weekend. I was actually shooting a very, very exciting campaign commercial that I cannot talk to you guys about just yet but I promise you'll be finding out very very soon that being said however it was a pride based commercial and I was wearing this look for the shooting I posted it on Instagram and snapchat and so many of you guys went crazy over this rainbow cut crease pride inspired look I have done this makeup a total of five times now and after number four on the set for the commercial I literally tweeted saying I would never ever ever do a rainbow cut crease ever again but so many of you guys asked for a tutorial on this and it was something that was very, very hard to explain. This is definitely a very, very intricate look. So I figured let me just suck it up, put it back on for the fifth and final time and film a freaking tutorial. That being said, this look is definitely not the easiest thing in the world. It's definitely pretty tricky and extravagant. So I definitely wanted to just go into James tutorial mode and teach you guys little techniques and tricks that I use to get this look. So if you wanna see how I created this rainbow pride cut crease, make sure you keep on watching. All right, babes, so I'm starting off with my base and eyebrows already completely on and done. This look is very, very focused on the eye region, obviously, so I didn't want to take too long on the base. I just use my Makeup Forever Ultra HD stick and then my Tarte Shape Tape, as always, my Laura Mercier, and then my Benefit Brow products. So just a normal routine, like always, every single video. And now let's just go ahead and move right on with the eyes and get into the glam. I already went ahead and primed my eyelids using some concealer and then some loose powder. And the first palette I'm gonna go off with is my Morphe 35B palette, of course. And you guys know you can use code JANES for 10% off your purchase. This palette is my all-time favorite palette that I use for my colorful looks. As you can see, it is very, very used and damaged, but it is my holy grail. And I'm gonna start off with this angle brush and just dip into the yellow shade down in the bottom to start sketching out my crease. So you guys know for my cut creases, I do do them in a little bit of a strange way, and that is I sketch out the crease first and then go in with the shadows and blend upward after. This is not a very, very common technique, but it is what works best for me. So follow it, don't follow it. That's on you to decide, sister. You do you. This is just my style of cut crease. I find that this works really, really well for me just because it gives me a really, really good guideline when it comes to the concealer. I can just super easily cut it right in half and I don't have to really worry about like shaping or anything like that. I don't know. This is my personal favorite. And then I'm going to use the same exact brush and I'm gonna dip into the orange shade and kind of place that in the middle of the cut crease. And then with that same exact brush, dipping right into the red. And then finally, winging that out using the bright pink shade. When I sketch out my cut creases, as you can see, I do have a little bit of hooded eyes. When I look straight forward at the camera, there's not much actual lid space that you can see. So when I draw my crease in, I really like to go above my natural crease. So when I look forward, you can still see pretty much all the cut crease. This is once again, my style. You don't have to do this. I know a lot of people like to put their cut crease in their actual crease, being that it is a cut crease. You get what I'm saying. Put your damn crease wherever you want it. Personally, I prefer to draw above the crease and I feel like this gives the best result. But once again, you do you. Next, I'm gonna grab my M433 brush and dip right back into that yellow shade. And I'm just gonna really focus this color right on the inner corner of that crease area. Next, grab my Morphe M151 brush, dipping into my Anastasia Blazing Single Shadow. I'm going to use this color and I'm going to deepen up the orange part of the crease. I'm just going right in where I drew that original crease line and darkening up the bottom portion of that crease just to create a little bit more dimension. And then grabbing another M433 brush, I'm gonna dip into the bright orange shade of the 35B palette and blend that out. Next, I'm gonna grab a clean Morphe M151 brush again and dip into my Jeffree Star Androgyny palette in the shade Fetish. Same thing with the orange, I'm just placing this color at the bottom of that crease line from before just to create some dimension. Then grabbing another M433 brush, I'm gonna dip into that red shade from the 35B palette, and I'm gonna blend that out. And then finally with one last M433, I'm gonna dip into the bright pink shade and just blend out the outside of that line and smoke it out. Mm -hmm. 
And those are all the colors already on there. Like I told you guys, this technique is super easy. Definitely my favorite. I've been doing it since the beginning. If you have not tried this technique to do a cut crease, definitely 10 out of 10. Would recommend. Just try it and let me know what you think at least. I promise you will not regret it. But that being said, as you can see, there's already a super easy guide already drawn out because we sketched it out originally. But now just to clean it up, I'm going to go back into my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and my Makeup Shack T86 brush. And I'm just going to clean up that line. I'm just going to super carefully and slowly trace right underneath that original cut crease line, being really careful not to mess it up because that blending is already looking bomb AF and we don't have to go around and redo it. So I'm just tracing the bottom of that line, dragging it right into the inner corner, and then I'm just going to drag that concealer down onto the eyelid. To set that concealer in place and just to brighten up the eyelid itself and get ready for the liner, I'm just going to use the Makeup Shack T6 brush in the white shade in the 35B and just pack it right on there. For my wing today, I'm going to use my Kat Von D Tattoo Locket Liner. This is my all-time favorite winged liner. Now looking at this, this wing is definitely way bigger than normal, but keep in mind it is a very, very large cut crease, almost like drag style makeup look, so we definitely want to try to balance it out at least a little bit when it comes to the liner because this would look very, very strange with a huge blown out crease and then a tiny little baby, baby wing. So once again, theme of this video, do what you want, but this is definitely the style that I feel like would look best for this look and this is what I came up with. Honestly, this wing is ready to cut a bitch. I am living for it. Let's go ahead and move on. For my bottom lash line today, I'm first going to start off by lighting my waterline using the MAC Fascinating Eye Cold Pencil. I love the formula of this. It is so creamy and smooth and doesn't irritate my eyes. You guys know that I'm really, really not a fan of waterline pencils. I've honestly been kind of skipping out on that stuff recently, but this formula is one that doesn't irritate me and for this look, it definitely looks super cute to have a little bit of white in the inner corner. Just to open up the eyes, make them look a little bit bigger. A little more fun, a little pop, because we are going to be gluing some Swarovski crystals in there too. So I'm just going to use this to really brighten up that lower lash line and get ready for a whole lot of color. For the first color on my waterline, I'm going to grab, you guessed it, the Morphe 35B and my M433 brush. And I'm just going to dip into this sky blue shade up in the top right corner. I'm just focusing this color right on the center of the lower lash line and blending it lightly out to the left and the right. I definitely do not want to take the shadow too low down or else it's going to really accentuate those eye bags, but I am being careful just to make sure it is still blown out because we don't want a super duper harsh line that is always against the rules when it comes to makeup with Sister James. <laughs> I'm next going to go back in with my 35B and my Sigma E55 eye shading brush. This is just a flat definer brush and I'm just going to dip into this bright green shade right up in here and I'm just going to place this in the inner corner right underneath that white shadow. Out of all the colors in the rainbow, green is probably my least favorite color, so like I was saying, personal preference, I'm going to probably use the least amount of green shadow in this look, and I'm just going to really focus this right on the inner corner, and then I'm just going to hop back into my blue blending brush and make sure that those shades are very well blended together. For the last color, I'm going to grab my M562 Tiny Taper Blending Brush and dip right into this bright-ass purple to finish off the lower lash line. I'm just taking this purple shade and I'm putting it right in the outer corner on the outer third of the lid, pulling it into the blue a little bit and then just pulling it up and out and blending it into the bottom of that wing. Then to finish off the eye look, I'm going to grab a Swarovski crystal in the size 14 and just pop her right onto the... Did I literally just stop my last sentence midway through? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh my god, okay, it is very rarely tonight, I apologize. I just popped on a Swarovski crystal in the size number 14 using a tiny dollop of lash glue in the inner corner. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. Now we're gonna move on with the lashes, and for today I'm gonna be using the House Lashes Iconics. As always, I always love these for cut creases, so I'm just going to glue her right on. Then to finish off this eye look, I'm just gonna use my Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. You guys know this is my all-time fave, just to blend together my fake lashes with my real ones. All right, guys, and that is one Pride Rainbow Cut Crease Eye all complete. I'm going to go and do the one off camera now just to save some time, and I'll be right back, and we can finish off the rest of the face. All right, moving right along for blush, then I'm going to use the MAC Dolly Mix Blush with my Morphe... 
Okay, this has no name on it, so this brush. I am packing on the blush a little bit heavier than normal today for James Charles style. I know this is definitely not my usual look, but I'm gonna be using a pink highlighter today. And for the commercial that I shot this for, they really wanted a very, very intense pride look that would show well on camera, so this is just exactly what I did. Once again, if you don't wanna wear that much blush, you do you, sister. <laughs> This is getting so annoying, I apologize. And then for a highlighter today, I'm gonna to use the Eclipse Highlighter from Jeffree Star in collaboration with Manny MUA. I freaking love this thing, it is so blinding. And I'm just gonna lay it right over top of that blush so it gives a little bit of a pink iridescent glow. I'm also popping this highlighter right onto the brow bone for a little bit more glow up there. Then I'm just gonna grab my M433 and go right over that line between the two. Just make sure that highlighter is not too defined which is something that I never thought I would say in my entire life. But we just wanna settle down that glow just the slightest bit to make sure they're evenly blended between the highlight, the brow, and like the red crease. To finish this look off for my lips today, I'm gonna to use the Over Liquid Lipstick in the shade Pasadena. I felt like a nude lip was definitely necessary for this look, just being that if I chose any bright color, it would probably really, really unbalance the eye look. I didn't wanna do like a red or anything because then there'd be too much red or like a blue. You get what I mean. I feel like the nude would be the perfect happy medium between all three and Pasadena's one of my all-time faves. And you guys know you can use code JAMES for 30% off all Ulfra products as well. All right, and to finish this look off once and for all, I'm gonna drench myself in the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. If you're gonna be wearing this look to a Pride event, it is gonna be very, very hot, probably very, very sweaty, and probably very, very fun and celebratory, so you definitely are gonna make sure you lock in your makeup all day long. All right, guys, and that is the completed Pride Rainbow Cut Craze inspired tutorial for today. I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. I apologize that it wasn't more like chittity, chattity. I do usually love doing those videos, but for today, I just wanted to sit down and focus. And like I said in the intro, I have done this look. This is the fifth time now, so I'm very, very sick and tired of it. I just wanted to get it done, teach you guys how to do it because it's definitely not the easiest thing in the world, and move on. That being said, if you guys did enjoy this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up down below and subscribe if you have not already. I post two videos a week on Monday and Fridays and I'd love to have you join the sisterhood. If you'd like to follow me on my makeup journey, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. They're both just James Charles. And my Snapchat for more behind the scenes and stuff is James Charles the next S after Charles. Major shout out to Sister Nicole for retweeting last week's video link when it went live. Love you, girl. All right, sisters, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.